Oh, you're not going to get your pork? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> anyway. Um, <coughs> yeah. So he was, yeah, we already talked about that. We went. He was the, uh, where at the end of the line, he recalled uh, his doctor say. Oh, end of no. the line means dead, right? Like, I'm so sorry, but you're going to die, like, in a month. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Bray Storm immediately uh, called his wife and told her to come home <clears throat> from work, he said to uh, Clive Tovkina. So, yeah, he immediately called his wife and was like, you have to come home. And then, yeah, they came home and they just cried all night, like, I'm going to die soon. This is crazy. I don't want to die. Blah, blah, blah. It was just the absurdity of this saying he said. Yeah, he's like, I'm destroyed. Like, I, it's it's one thing to understand you're going to die when you're like 80, right? Like, oh, I'm old. Yeah, of course I'm going to die. But when you're 51 and you're like, obviously the, he has children, right? Those children don't look that old. They're not like having children yet or like having family. They look like they're in their 18, right? So this would be very scary for a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, come on. Ami, uh, Ami, uh, try fake, try fake, try fake. Oh, so amyotropic lateral sclerosis. Amyotrophic uh, lateral uh, slide also Cirrhosis, yeah, nosis, or ALS. Also now as the ALS of the Lou Gehrig's. Lou Gehrig's. Lou Gehrig's. Lou Gehrig's. Teasing places the uh, uh, parties people because they brain is no longer uh, about to community check with the muscles of the body Museum of the body okay. yeah so basically saying um your brain can't talk to your leg anymore and so your leg just becomes useless because your brain doesn't connect to your leg anymore and then all of a sudden your brain can't connect to your uh lungs so you can't breathe anymore then you can't eat any like it basically it just stops you from living yeah <coughs> also, over the time as the mutuals break down people lost the ability to walk talk it swallow and even uh, ten surely uh, brain yeah so uh you you normally start with your legs and you can't walk anymore then after you can't walk anymore you normally can't talk anymore then you can't really eat very easily you have to use like machines to help you eat or swallow and then eventually you can't breathe anymore and then you and then you die yeah. okay. there's no cure over the time okay this is no sure okay and no cure just means like there's no medicine there's nothing that can help you like you're you just die like not nothing you can do uh let this uh let this ace runs is his family his young brother, his younger brother died from it more than a decade ago, and his father passed away from it two years ago. Uh, Boys Tom, Boys Tom. Yeah, um, sadly, this is a like a family disease. So, like, if you have it most likely your brothers or your parents or your children will have it in the future uh 
So yeah, it sounds like his brother died of this, his dad died of this, and now he's gonna die of this. And the scary thing of all is most likely his children will also die of this, uh, which is scary for a lot of people. Uh, first child, man, first child went to see another doctor's uh, <coughs> at the same the facility three days later for the second opinion and says that the doctor agreed with his family doctor the diagnosis diagnosis mm -hmm. so diagnosis meaning like the like what the first doctor thought happened this doctor says happened so yeah he went to his family doctor three days later he's like i'm gonna go to another doctor just to be sure the doctor said the same thing yeah you have asl you're dying he's like uh-oh <coughs> uh, he used was such as the cutter tray medical uh neurological the logical breakdown, breakdown and the pad, organ, organ section, all less, he said. So now, not only an I die, lying, dying, 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 uh, lying, uh, dying, I'm dying in the faster line, everything is the moving in credibility fast. Yeah, so he's not just dying, because everyone's dying, but now I'm dying like quickly, like I'm going to die within the year kind of thing. Uh, and so he's just like, everything's just going too quickly. I don't even know what to do. Yeah. And these are just two other stories about ALS. Some people are uh, in this one. It's a family in London, Ontario, talking about ALS. And apparently Alberta is trying to get drugs for people because there's no cure for ALS. But there seems to be some drugs that make it longer so you can live longer but yeah at that point uh brace Tom and his wife Carla Carla sat down to tell their two teenage daughters teenage daughters teenage daughters so yep yeah. So his two teenage daughters, so again, this uh, in the teens, right, 19, 18, all the way down to 13, right? Somewhere in that range, he has two of them, which is very scary for them because they're not even adults yet, right? Um, so yeah, they had to talk to their children. It was a scary, scary killer said, we're like, what going to happen to our life, our world? It was not neat. Yeah. So the children are like, this is so scary. What, like, what are we going to do without dad? This is not going to be easy. He's the side Thomas uh, and he began uh, half humming uh, numbers, numbers, this numbness, numbness other uh, food for his stated to use a uh, can to help him walk so yeah he first noticed this with one foot right i can't feel my foot for some reason and now it was quick his second foot didn't start to work he was like uh-oh like now i need a cane things are moving quickly by uh, now, a uh, very stone says plants were moving the quickly. Mm -hmm. Yep. So he's like, okay, now that I know that I'm going to die, I need to set everything up for my family before I go. Right. Uh, the one nice thing about ALS is, yes, it's rapid or rapid, but like you can tell where you are. Right. If you're if you're only feeling numbness in your feet, you still got quite a bit of time left. Uh, if you have numbness in your legs, you're like halfway there. You're starting trouble eating. Okay, you're kind of at the end, but you kind of know where you are based on your symptoms. So he knows that he needs to do this quickly to fix everything for his family. Uh, <clears throat> within two weeks, his the diagnosis was put into the writing uh, for the insurance 
in St. Louis and uh, disability uh, climates. He was told the, he would never return to work and soon would be uh, unable to work. He was given the disability uh, black card for his car and was even the contacted, uh, contacted by the their test regarding the mentally accessible test. So basically saying, Oh, um, she just came to see mommy. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, within two weeks of learning about this, he got his insurance money from the insurance company to give to his family. Uh, he was able to get a disability card for his car so that he could park uh, in the handicap spot. And they even started talking about assisted death because Again, with uh, ALS, you stop breathing, which is really scary, right? You, you're alive and you can't breathe anymore. And then like you just you have like two minutes or one minute of like panic, right? Because you you can't breathe. So you might want to get assisted death, like someone kill you. Basically. Oh. Uh, he sat uh, down. His uh, business and straight uh, making clothes. Yep. So he had a business, so he had to shut down his business or sell his business. And he started making calls to people like, hey, we can't do this anymore. I'm dead. I'm, I'm doing this. I can't do this. Um, calling family, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We had to tell the friends and family I had to tell my aging 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 mother who's already lost her uh, son to this that she was about to lose her last son and that was that was tough uh convey section uh, he said basically uh yeah we well, gotta call his family and friends tell them what's going on i have to and the one that he hated the most, of course, was his mother. His mother lost uh, her husband. She lost her son. And now she's losing her last son to this disease. That could That's devastating, right? That's horrible. So she did not want to do that. And of course, here's the paperwork for the doctor. Uh, Boston was thought he wouldn't be alive to see the Christmas and at best make love until and until uh, September or October. Yeah. So he said you wouldn't see Christmas. You'd be lucky, basically, if you made it to September or October. Like that's the best you're gonna get. Yeah. Uh, oops. The family had already time planning his the final uh, co uh, yeah funeral right so burying him into ground right so they're like we know you're gonna die now so like let's plan it how do you want your funeral uh, who do you want to come yeah not fun 2023 was just the summer of crying he said it was horrible I the pacing, the pacing. Yeah. Um, all they did all summer was cry. They know that after each day, because remember, they found out in March. So every day, they're getting one day closer to his death and like a soon death, right? Like, uh, it's very easy to not worry about death when you don't know when it's going to happen. But when you know it's September and you're getting one day closer, one day closer to September, it gets sadder and sadder and people don't like that, right? Also, did he just say that I'm not dying? So what's going on? There's a question here. He said, uh, that's okay. At the end of July, first then had a permit with three doctor, the nurse, the 
Nothing. Neurologist. So in July, at the end of July, he had an appointment with a third doctor now. And what happened? After uh, re receiving uh, a four the problem of the test and more the X uh X hey X hey Steve X mu nation he was given another shock. Another shock. So he did all the tests again and there's another shocking result. The first shocking one was you have ALS, you're gonna die, but now there's another shocking one. The doctor took the bus trail, he thought they would be having a plaintiff and of life dissection board instead to Dr. Todd him he had luckily been the misdiagnosed. That misdiagnosed, right? Basically saying like, uh, he's like, yeah, I'm prepared to have this end of life discussion. I know I'm already dying because of the other two doctors, but, um, this doctor is like, no, you're probably not going to die. This seems to be a mistake. It sounds like those two doctors made a mistake. Uh, and apparently it's pretty common because uh, this talks about how a doctor couldn't find cancer in a person twice. They couldn't find it. And in this one, uh, the doctor missed it three times for a flesh eating disease. They couldn't figure out what it was. So I guess misdiagnosis is pretty common, sadly, where you get the wrong thing from the doctor. Uh, my chance is the my chance my jaw my jaw my jaw my jaw my jaw uh drop pet drop it uh that did he just uh, say that i'm not uh like dying uh based on said i was in shock i had my uh pay this for my financial you know uh, i asked people to speak at my funeral now i'm longer dying like so he's just like uh i'm not actually dying anymore like uh i already got people coming to the funeral like i've already planned my funeral and i'm not dying now uh <laughs> what's going on he, like he's just like huh like very shocked For the first time in the months, uh, in the months, uh, boys then uh, and his wife had little bit of hope. So oh. they're like, maybe I'm not dying. Like it's a bit of hope, right? Everyone was like, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, and now I'm like, maybe not. Like, ooh, I'm hoping. We uh. He left uh, that officer with his uh, renewed sword of uh, failing uh, class said, what if the other doctors were one? It functionally uh, uh, gave that uh, was the something to smell about on the way home. Yeah, so basically they're like, Oh, I might not be dying. What if the other doctors was wrong and this doctor's right? Like they can finally smile again, right? For the whole time they've been crying because the guy's dying, but uh, maybe the other doctors are wrong and maybe I'm not dying. He was the fair uh, referred to another doctor and another who taught him the same thing. He did not have aisles, aisles, aisles. So basically saying, uh, they went, they're like, uh, so we got, I have the problem, I'm gonna die, or uh, I don't have the problem, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna go to doctor, 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 doctor. I'm gonna go to every doctor I can to get like the most information. Am I actually dying or am I gonna live? He was, uh now 
on this uh, 6th. 6th. <coughs> now on this doctor, the stylist, uh, uh, stylist play first on, uh, first on says they are the creating of the <coughs> denises. So they're like, we know, like after the sixth doctor, right? Six doctors have not looked at him and we're like, okay, we do not think you're going to die. Or we know that you're going to die. Like they're like, we know the, the problem now, which is? Uh, instead, it believes he has the uh, nerve, uh, nerve uh, neuropathy another party of the near uh, is the thin edge uh, damage which is the common among deep uh, diabetics depends such the himself so he is diabetic or diabetes which means he can't control his sugar and nerve damage is very common with that because if you have too much sugar all the time or not enough sugar all the time your nerve system can break a little bit um, but that could be good news that he only has foot problems now rather than he's dying, right? It was great joy, uh, but it was also the injury. He said, this healed me. This healed my family, uh, soaked us to the toilet. So basically, he's like, this is... I'm so happy that like I'm not actually dying, but I'm also like super angry because from March until uh, was it June? When did they say? Uh, they said it here, July. So from March until July, they're crying. They're like, "I'm dying. I'm never gonna live again. Uh, what's gonna happen?" So he's now he's not dying. He's like, "Oh, I'm so happy." However, I'm like. What I, we spent so much time suffering, this is crazy. Yeah, super angry for that. Uh, Buster does not want to take any the legal education, the agnest, the mental professional who uh, may be nest him and says he knows it was the mistake. Mistake. He's like, I don't want to sue them for anything. Like, I, I, they're just doing their jobs. I know they made a mistake. It's not like that you were trying to make me upset, right? So, yeah, he's like, it's okay. I'm not mad at the doctors. I'm just mad at like life. <laughs> However, uh, he believes, uh, he believes, and the 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 masses are so. Sell souls as this on a one shot only come from as the specials this <clears throat> basically he's saying a specialist like this person needs to know everything about ALS to give me the diagnosis it shouldn't just be like my family doctor or a regular doctor this should be a higher up doctor that's special in this because this is such a serious thing if you're wrong about this like i think i'm dead when in reality i just have feet problem and now because i uh didn't fix anything because we thought i was just dead uh maybe my feet won't have uh feeling anymore for the rest of my life so maybe i something bad happened to me because of that right i think that doctor really need to understand the child comes of the such a uh, part of the saber dinners, he said. Yeah, so he's like, uh, doctors need to be very careful uh, with this diagnosis. Like, you can't just say this, like, oh, yeah, I think you have this. They have to be like 100% sure. Right? Uh, 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 if, if you have the. Uh, sorry. If you have the. A uh, uh, sub lesson of the sub difficult uh, thinness that should be elevated uh, uh, to an expert, the fact that the both very, uh, very verbally, 
Deputy and writing, I have an else thinness that should not have happened. Yeah, basically, it's like uh, if you like if the family doctor or the regular doctor thinks I have ALS, don't just say I have it. Send me to a specialist. Get me to a, a ALS ex expert so I 100% know because uh, I have a diagnosis of this and it's not true, right? Like that should never happen. And this is just saying that complicated diagnosis, ALS is very difficult to figure out if you truly have ALS or if it's something else, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> us, uh, us is the difficult to the thinness because the intel uh, symptoms symptoms can be very similar to other uh, other diseases including to the OS soci of the Canada. Yep. And remember when you see this uh capitals say the letters A L S A L S. Yeah. You don't say alls, you say A L S. Yeah. Um but yeah, they're basically saying that the first problems of ALS look like seven different things. So it could be ALS, it could be diabetes, it could be blah, blah, blah. Like it could be a lot of things. Um, so this is why it's difficult to be like, oh, this is ALS or this is this. Right? It's difficult. Uh, it's the only two, the three, the patterns pair, the 100,000 uh, 100, have this, the disease doctor, uh, Lorna uh, German has the next the, and Sunny Black Hospital and hit of the Canada and uh, last OS the clinic top the CBC. Yeah, he's like, this is very, very rare. Only three people out of a hundred thousand people get this disease. Um yeah, so yeah, it's pretty hard to check if you have this. Uh, damage us compass and can talk the month he said. Sometimes it takes a long time to figure out do you have ALS or do you not have it? Like it could take months, not just like, oh, today you have it. Uh, it could be one month, two months, and then you figure out, oh, I don't have it, right? Okay, the sunny broke a uh, book, uh, clinic to the Toronto is about 300 new OS cases a year and it certainly following about 700 OS patterns day months. Basically just saying there's only this many patients uh, mm. in the country, like very okay. little. Um, we have time now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see you after lunch.